Hi, this is Adityan from Market. Today, we are sharing the news for 30th January, continuing the series to help you prepare for VAT and personal interview to get you into IIMs and top B schools. The actual news articles from which we have taken these key points are listed out at our daily news section in our website. The link for our website is given below. To get more information about the interview process, follow our Telegram channel where you can get access to VAT and personal interview content from 99.9 plus percent trailers. The link to the Telegram group is in the description. Today's 5 news headlines are Budget 2024 What pharma and healthcare sectors expect from interim budget? First human to receive Neuralink implant is recovering well, Elon Musk confirms. No economic survey to be presented on Jan 31. Baiju is planning to raise $200 million through a rights issue. Can Indian real estate market face a crisis like China's Evergrande? The first article for today is Budget 2024 What pharma and healthcare sectors expect from interim budget? The healthcare and pharma sectors expect increased investment in infrastructure, innovation and research in the upcoming budget. It is also expected to increase the number of hospital beds to meet WHO standards of 3.5 beds per thousand population. Healthcare industry expects an increased allocation of 2.5% of GDP for public healthcare, tax benefits for health insurance premiums, price regulation and promotion of generic drugs and government funding for research. Skilling the health workforce and improving access to care in rural areas is also emphasized. The budget is expected to be an interim budget as general elections are due later this year. The next news for today is first human to receive Neuralink implant is recovering well. Elon Musk confirms. Elon Musk announces successful implementation of Neuralink's brain interface in first human recipient. Neuralink, his neurotechnology startup, marks a significant step forward in the company's mission to establish direct communication pathways between the human brain and the computers. The initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Neuralink's mission is to enhance human capabilities, treat neurological disorders and establish a synergistic relationship between humans and the AI. Last year, Neuralink received approval from US regulators to commence human trials with their brain implants. No economic survey to be presented on Jan 31, here's why. The economic survey is a comprehensive annual report analyzing the performance of the Indian economy over the past year and offering insights into its prospects. There will be no economic survey in 2024 because it is an election year and the government does not want to politicize the economy. Instead, the Ministry of Finance has released a review called the Indian Economy. The review offers insights into the past 10 years of the Indian economy and its future prospects. However, it is explicitly mentioned that this report does not replace the official economic survey which is expected to be presented after the general elections and the formation of the new government. Baiju is planning to raise $200 million through a rights issue. Baiju, the Indian edtech company, plans to raise $200 million through a rights issue. The company's valuation has significantly dropped from $22 billion to less than $1 billion. Baiju intends to use the raised funds for ongoing capital expenditures and general corporate purposes and expects that the company is less than a quarter away from achieving operational profitability, reflecting the effectiveness of the company's strategic initiatives and the resilience of the business model. As the largest shareholders, the founders of Baiju's have personally invested more than $1.1 billion in the last 18 months. Baiju's operational loss went into Rs. 6,679 crore in the financial year 2021-22 due to losses incurred by subsidiaries White Hat Jr. and Osmo. Can Indian real estate market face a crisis like China's Evergrande? While there are still obstacles like capital shortages and regulatory barriers, India's real estate sector is comparatively more stable than China's, which is currently experiencing a slowdown. China's home buyers have lost confidence due to incomplete projects and lax regulations. Factors include the ongoing COVID-19 impact and government regulations to control financing methods are also seen as reasons for China's real estate slowdown. The Indian market is seen as being more stable due to factors like sustained demand from home buyers and government regulations. The Indian real estate market has recovered from past crises and the government has taken steps to regulate the sector. The overall outlook for the Indian real estate market is optimistic. So these are the 5 news for today. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications. Do like the video if you found it helpful. Thank you and good luck.